What I want to understand from you today, Frederick, is, is with Sujol, which I first encountered when it was called the Bangladesh Project, it's now branded Sujol. What, what are we really trying to achieve here? We, we, we want to achieve uh, safe water for uh, millions of Bangladeshi people, but not in a terrible way, but in an economically way. That's what we want to achieve. Yeah. 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 Now, th it's, it's got a big, and this is one of the things about, about um, working with Thomas, who's trying to shush people in the background, but it's, it's all right, though, it should be okay. Um, it's, it's very socially driven rather than technology driven, isn't it? So this is about building out um, networks of, of, of people locally, of businesses locally that can produce and yeah. sell yeah. water. Yeah, yeah. We, we strongly believe that if you build your activities in a more business-wise way, uh, you will have more financial sustainability in a project. To put it very blunt, if you start depending on subsidies, you never know when it ends, but suddenly it can end. Yeah. And uh, of course a business can end too, but I think you will have more control yeah. uh, on it. Uh, yeah. Then you have control on all kinds of subsidy flows that can dry up yeah. in one year or another year. So one of the things that's, that's been striking about um, meeting um, Allard uh, and you know, always having you know met you is that you're not people from the NGO world. You're not people from no. a development background. You're people from a business background. Yeah. So Alan Sticker from an industrial chemicals yeah. background and thing, yeah. things first. But and you're 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 from a banking background. Yeah. And I I, I wondered these this kind of this these kind of social projects, social initiatives, social businesses needs those people. Do you think? Do you think it needs those kind of people? Well, if I say no, <laughs> I tell a lot about myself, <laughs> don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> well, does it need people like uh, Allard and uh, like me? Uh, I think yes, because otherwise I w would never step into that world, of course. Um, I, I saw an opportunity to, uh, to work uh, both uh, in an interesting way to do the things from my heart and then in a way and in a way to do things from an economical point of view, a financial point of view, because you know uh, I think it's, it's, it's not bad to earn some money um, and I must earn some money. Well I, I guess the, the issue is until you find a way for people who are distributing um, drinking water that's arsenic free in Bangladesh mm. you're, you're not really going to succeed until there's a way that they can make money out of it well Bangladeshi people need money and the best way to make money is to teach them how to make money and, yeah. but they have to do it themselves yeah you know, I, I can't I can't and I will not make money for them they they must make the money and they're very good in it I mean if you walk around in Dhaka or in, 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 in all kind of villages you see all kind of small enterprises near roads you know near uh, marketplaces and uh, and truly you know these people uh, making a business they make a business over there making a business with water is, is, is I think a little bit more complex because um, water is not something very obviously uh, where you pay a lot of money for you know it's yeah. it's, it's it's a it's a, some, some people say and think that water should be free you know safe water should be free um, and there are a lot of governments or government officials or whatever kind of organization, donor organizations, who think the same. And that makes it very hard to uh, offer a product in a market, water in a market, yeah. and ask people to, uh, to pay a little bit money for it. Yeah. So one of the things that um, has always interested me, Frederick, about your approach is that with this project, with Sujol, you've always kind of lined everybody up to fail in a way in the sense you've, you've always said we we can expect this project could fail mm. and we need to th we need to be aware of that and if it if it is not working we shouldn't continue it but if it does work then you, you, you know what i mean so mm. and I, that's been really interesting because i've never really worked with many people that that kind of are as brutal about it mm. as that mm. but you think that's important yeah you have in the Netherlands, you have an institute of brilliant failures. <laughs> uh, it's an institute where, uh, where all brilliant failures are documented. 
So if the project fails, I would love to be documented in that institute because failing in a brilliant way is, is not that bad. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think are the risks that we have with Sujol at the moment in terms of as, as a project? I think the most important risk is uh, just to, it's, it's now as, as we speak, uh, it is a, a risk uh, if the product will work uh, in the field. Not from a technical point of view, because I think it will work. You know, we did the proof of concept in the, in the lab testing, we do now the proof of product yeah. uh, in, uh, in, in the project, and it all looks good. Yeah. Uh, but now, you know, you want to have a product that uh, links to the, to the needs of the people. Yeah. How can it produce water at a certain level of a price, you know? Will it be reliable in production terms, you know? Will it have the right volumes? What will we do with the wastewater? There are a lot of questions still to be answered. Yeah. And answering these questions, there are, of course, risks mm -hmm. involved. Yeah. And it's very hard to, uh, to, 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 uh, to rank the risks yeah. Like this is the highest risk, or this is the lowest risk, because it will really matter on the on the on the on the phase the project is uh, is in. Yeah. But yes, truly, there there is a lot of risk because we are proving something. We want to prove something, but it's not in the market yet. So yeah. that's this is a risky operation. Great.